Okay, welcome to your second tutorial on beginning HTML. Today we're going to look at adding line breaks, comments, and spaces to your HTML code. Now, if you follow the last video, we're going to go ahead and use that HTML file we created in that video. And so let's go ahead and double click that now. If you followed along, we named it test.html. So let's go ahead and open that. And here is the header that we created in that last video the two headers actually, and here are the paragraphs that we created with the paragraph tag. Now, what we want to do is we want to add some space in here between this section and this second section. So we're going to add some space right here. So let's go ahead and close out Internet Explorer now. And what we're going to do now is reopen this with Notepad. And that will allow us to look at the code. And so here was the first section that we created. This you will remember was the header. And this is the paragraph. And this was the second section that we used the H2 header tag to identify. And then we had another paragraph right here. So what I want you to do is go ahead and hit enter three times. And that should give us the space between our sections. So one, two, three. And then I want you to hit save as. And we're going to save this as HTML again. Because after you open a notepad, by the way, it will want to keep it in the notepad file format, and we want this back into HTML. So we'll go ahead and save that as HTML. Close it out, and let's reopen this up. And you'll notice that nothing happened here. And actually, I wanted that. So you'll notice we didn't get our spaces. Well, what happened there? Let's go back into here, open this up. And what happens is, is that you actually have to identify line breaks with HTML code. Otherwise, it's as if nothing happened. It will just ignore these and keep going to the next section. So we actually do have to put a line break here. Now, you'll notice there's an automatic line break after each tag, but if you want additional line breaks, you have to put in, you have to put in the BR tag. And let's go ahead and do that. And there you go. We, we now have a line break. And we can go ahead and copy and paste these. Now, you will remember in the introductory video, you will remember I talked about empty elements. And an empty element does not need a closing tag. So we can just put these in here and not have to close them. And the reason is, is because we're not putting anything in between these, as we are like in this paragraph tag. We're just saying, hey, do a line break here. So let's go ahead and save this again. And we'll save it again as HTML. And if we go back, to our test page, you'll see, hey, look, we've got our line breaks in there now. So now it recognized it and we're good to go. Okay, so let's close this out and let's go ahead and reopen our HTML document in Notepad again. And now let's do a comment. Now a comment section is used to keep notes in your HTML code. That is, you want notes for your code, but you do not want it to be displayed on your web page. In order to do that, we use the less than angle bracket and then an exclamation point and then two hyphens. And then we can put whatever we want here. And again, this is internal to the code only. We're keeping private notes on our code. So we'll say this is the start of the HTML code for the second section. And we will start each section with a header tag. And then we close it with two hyphens and a greater than angle bracket. And so let's go ahead and save this as a HTML document again. And let's open it. And you can see the code did not show up. That's what we wanted, right? It was an internal comment. Now, watch what happens. Let's actually go back in there. And let's remove the exclamation point. Let's go ahead and save as again. And watch what happens now. It displayed it. You'll notice because when we took out that exclamation point, it's no longer a comment, and the browser now treats this as actual text. So just keep that in mind. If you fat finger it, it'll actually show up in your site, which you'd probably realize because you'd be doing some quality assurance, I'm assuming, on your uh, actual web page. So let's go ahead and fix that. And we're back in business. Okay, now I will show you how to add spaces 
or additional spaces between text. So right here, let's type in test space test. And let's do another save as. And let's open it up. And you can see there, it automatically will cr create one space. Now let's go back in there. And let's add a bunch of spaces here. And I think you know what's going to happen. But let's go ahead and do this anyways. And you can see the browser did not recognize those extra spaces we put in. So in order to accomplish that, we have to use the following. We need to put in ampersand NBS. And you can stack as many of these as you like. So if we want four spaces, we'll just put four of these. And I think what the designers were thinking here was if you put ampersand NBSP, that's probably not something someone's going to actually type out. So if you put that in there, it will actually create a space. So let's do our save as again. And there you can see we got the spaces between test and test. So that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next HTML video.